the uh, obviously the parents, I believe, and school administrators are really on the front lines in terms of people hearing from them. Mm -hmm. What would you say to the students themselves, both in the Catholic schools and the parish religious education programs, who are really the ones who are experiencing the coming changes? Well, first of all, to the students in the schools, I, I'd want them to know that I understand why they don't look forward to um, serious changes if they're going to be relocated because um, their friends are together and they have a positive experience of the school as an alma mater, which means a dear mother, and I certainly understand that. But I also hope they'll be understanding of the fact that uh, we have to pay teacher salaries and we have to uh, keep our buildings in good shape and pay utilities, and that costs money. And for that to be uh, effective in a school, uh, it means we have to have the school filled to almost capacity. We can't have hugely empty schools and be able to afford it. So I think I would, it would appeal to their common sense you know, to, that uh, certainly everybody's on our side and we really want to keep all our schools open if possible. But we have to do what's financially possible.